I see tragedy every day. You could say it's a specialty of tragedy. People are sort of at death's door. You've got people yelling and screaming, and, and in that type of environment, you've got to tell somebody about your personal history, about personal things that you don't talk about with everybody every day. And to get somebody to talk about those types of things, because they're very important in treating the patient, um, is an art. You see the fabric of society. And you see people and how we treat each other in real life. My neighbors always ask me, do you see anything cool? And I'm like, I don't remember. It was just a blur. To say that person's like, I don't have time to call a radiologist who's probably at home at 4 o'clock in the morning, say, can you come and do the ultrasound for me? If you could look right through the body if the organs are interested, why the heck would you not do it? I'm sure he would really be happy if he could say, Dr. Saylor, why don't you do that and save the patient and let me know how it turns out in the morning. There's been a lot of moments like that with ultrasound where I say, wow, uh, this guy would have died. Or as a physician, you think to yourself, uh, I almost killed this lady. But now you got a patient here tomorrow. Are you going to be able to save this person's life tomorrow? Just the other day, I had a tragic drowning case that I was involved with, an 18-month-old uh, that uh, was found at the bottom of a pool. And uh, we were able to get a heartbeat back. The, the child did die. I've got to be just that much better tomorrow because something else has come through that door that I may need it for. As a specialty, we get it right about 80% of the time. We're sort of 80 percenters. And, um, and a lot of people aren't comfortable not getting to 100 percent and so that drives some emergency physicians crazy and out of the field. As a father and with many other people in the resuscitation team that were parents, to see that sort of case, that was pretty, uh, that was a big impact case. And you know, at the end of the day, can you sit back and say, I did everything I could for that person? Within minutes, I have to then go back and see a sprained ankle. And hopefully I have a good outcome. <laughs> Is it more art or science? It's a good amount of art. It's a good amount of art.